What? <laughs> you always make me start it off. Well, yeah. You well, always I don't start know. it off. Well, you don't always make me, but I start it off. Yeah. <laughs> um, hello, doll iliacs. And Disney dust collectors. <laughs> Hello, Disney. Nope. <laughs> Good try. Hello, Dolphiliacs. And Disney Dust Collectors. We got a shipment today. Yay. She's here. This little one's mine. Yeah, that one's yours. <laughs> Mine is over, over there. But we're going to see if we're going to de box her. Are we going to de box mine? Hers is. And mine is 1,406, I believe. Yes. So we'll also, we're also going to see what number you 1, yours 000... is. 1,406. Yeah. 1,406. Right. Yeah, 1,406. Because, yeah, I was like, that's Or you can just go watch the other video. It's there. We let you know. But whichever one is the lower number, we're going to get. Oh, God. We're going to debox because this is what this is. This is our Alice. We've seen this, but still it is beautiful. <laughs> You're so rude. <laughs> and voila! Yes. Ooh, I feel like yours, you get the ones oh, with good hair. Ooh, she this does have good fair. hair. Oh, I have She's a got that body this. yaddy yaddy. This, this is an issue. Why, Why does he get the ones with good hair? Why not? Why not me? Anyway, let's see what number she is and determine which one we're going to be box. Yeah. We're just gonna speed through. We're gonna yeah. edit all of we're this gonna, out. We're gonna speed through honey. Oh <laughs> wait. Mine's the better number. But you always get the better number, I feel. But I Maybe. Yeah, because this is 2217, 2217. 1406. Yeah. <laughs> 1406. You say that know just why. like Cruella. I don't know why. I All right, that. Cruella. You know, it's a vibe. She's, so, she's mine. So, I think <laughs> since she's. Here, you hold her because I'm going to show. And she has the better hair, I say we de box yours. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, duh. Yeah, that's right. Because she has the better hair. But yeah, here's the certificate of authenticity for my girl. And yeah, it's 2217. Of 7,900, this is a large amount of limited editions. It really is, though. I think but, they were anticipating that a lot of people would buy her because they only have one other... Alice. Alice doll, and it's like $85,000. Yeah, because it was LE 500. They only made 500. They make these very hard to they get really out. They really do. <laughs> it, it's very it's a secure. Little much. Oh, I was trying to get the bottom too. Wow, she is immaculate in person. She looks so beautiful and we're gonna get to pose her how we want her i really like her arms in this though what do you mean the way they posed her arms like oh this, yeah it's super cute but yeah we'll be able to move her around yeah i yeah i mentioned that in um our review our other video yeah that i love the way that they posed her the silhouette is so cute it's so um what's the right word like demure yeah that's a good word for it but she's definitely curious. Like she looks like she's about to get into some. Uh, so 
stuff. Oh, we're so good. We're so good. Oh, I got that. I got it, baby. No, her hair looks beautiful. It, like, we're, we're gonna show how long it is. Mm -hmm. But, oh my goodness. Cause they, they do have, and it's probably something to do with like the, the way you make the doll, but they have been making the, all of their hair much longer than it normally would be. Yeah. Um, Except Rapunzel. It. Except for Rapunzel. Except Rapunzel. Hers is shorter. <laughs> Nice try. We measured. We did the math. We can't yeah, we, we converted it. it. Nope. They did put a lot yeah, of Yeah, there is a lot product. of gel. I, I don't even think this is hair. I, I just think it's These blast. are tentacles. <laughs> These Tent are tentacles. So this is the Ursula Alice doll. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness, but enough. She is beautiful though. Enough banter. Wow, she is gorgeous. And we need to get y'all closer so y'all can get in on this okay so here we have alice d box honey so they do have her beautiful blonde hair and it is kind of pale it's not as yellow as you would expect from alice yeah. which is awesome i think that's a beautiful stylistic choice you know as we we've discussed her makeup the fact that we love the pink lips the snow white face mold this the beautiful brown color in the eyebrows like just supreme beauty the gorgeous hair bow like so many of these beautiful details but yeah i did want to point out just um on my doll the way that the pocket watch is falling just seems a little bit more aesthetically pleasing and it is awesome to actually feel this collar because it is really stiff and you can just, the difference in materials, I think is what really elevates this doll to another level because like I've said, this is a very stiff material on her, uh, on the lapel. And then we have not just a different sheer material on the top part of the bodice, we, it is completely different, but still similar to her puff sleeve. That's something that I'm not noticing until now, but just like, you know, right here alone, we have one, two, three, four, five, five different types of textiles because the ribbon around her is actually made from the same kind of velvet, velvet material that the bodice is. Yeah, so the, she does got yeah. helmet head. She really does though. Yeah, she's it's got It's like that. real stiff. Yeah, it's real stiff, you know, and there's a lot of product in it. Um, otherwise, you know, I think that we could, you know, wash it out and kind of stylize it because right now with how the hair is, pro like the, with the product, you can see the hair plugs. But you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna cover that, cover that up. <laughs> Don't judge her. But yeah, so this is two pieces. I do wish that it wasn't just secured uh, with Velcro, but I do get the fact that we get so many details in the other parts of the dress that, you know, it's definitely easier for them. And, but, and it's two pieces and it's separate from the top, which is awesome because they have been doing this with the Disney dolls, but it's almost hard to like get this lower part complete. There it goes. It does fit her. It is very fitted. It is fitted. Um, but I do like the fact that the apron comes all the way around and closes at the back. See, that's nice. And then you can see just more of those embroidered details. And then I, 
I really do love that they gave such a wide border in the blue on the apron. It's really pretty. And I love this like satin material that it's made from. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. It that little shimmer. And the rhinestones go all the way around. Oh, like, that's nice. They do get a little sparse. sparse. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> same word. Uh, they do get a little sparse um, here, but you know what? They still go all the way around, and I really do love that fact. I love that they're also different sizes because these blue ones here are very small. And that oh, trim yeah. goes all the way around. It's just really, really beautiful, and so does the tool. And so we'll go ahead and go all the way down on the girl and look at her stockings and shoes. And the stockings are actually real. They're, they're they some are real. from like a stretch fabric. Yeah, it is a stretch. Because you can they actually go all move the way it. up to her waist. Oh, I love the fact that you can feel it and move it. It feels uh -huh. so real. But, and, oh my goodness. So this is Velcro for the straps. Oh, that is such an awesome detail. So we have the black strap on the shoe is that velvet material that is um, on the bodice, but it actually Velcros off with the rose on, um, with the rose on top, kind of camouflaging Velcro it. Velcro strap. But I do love these shoes. I love the fact They're that- They're cute. These are like the most ornate shoes that Disney's done in a long time for the dolls. I'm trying to think. Um, it's, Cruella had some nice ones. Uh -huh. And the stockings are do have the seam right on the back that is so awesome. I, I love that. The little, little things that hint at it being real is so cool. But why don't we go ahead and get her off the... Oh, shoot. We did miss one. You're never done deboxing until you go all the way through it. So... Yeah, so the bottom does come off. And yes, see? So her stockings they are come real. All the way up. And they come all the way up. That is an awesome detail. And she does have painted on undergarments. I'm trying to bring it above out of the hip joint. And she is articulated. That's about as far as she goes in articulation. And but her feet are not articulated, and I actually prefer that. Okay, I did want to show that for the dress, we like the tool is a whole separate layer, which is awesome, but it is sewn into the garment itself. I love that. That's what gives it that floofy, floofy, floofiness. And yeah, it even has a little shop Disney tag made in China. If anybody cares to know. <laughs> Let me get this back on the girl. We can go out here in your knickers. Uh, let me do this without ruining these roses. Oh my God. <laughs> Her hair is so long. Much longer than it actually is. Like, I feel like in the oh. cartoon, it, it definitely wasn't this long, but no. it's beautiful. And I do love how they picked a more realistic hair color for her. Yeah, the hair color is very <clears throat> realistic and it's such a pretty, like, I, I just love the fact that it's this very pale, pale honey color. Cause it's definitely not a bleach blonde, but it's still very pale. But yeah, well, we couldn't be more thrilled with Mary Blair's, um, this limited edition inspired by the artwork of Mary Blair. It is absolutely wonderful. We hope everyone who wanted her was able to get her or is able to score her on eBay. I'm sorry if that's what you gotta resort to, but you know, we understand. It happens. Yeah, you, sometimes you got to. Okay, so Ray, I'm killing Raymond right now because I'm making him hold up this camera. I just wanted to give a better showcasing of Mary Blair's art style here that they have on the print. The flowers are just so stunning. Look at these pansies. They're so cute. They have daffodils, the daisies. Oh yeah. Wait, where is she? She's the purple one right there. Oh, she's right there. She's the one that hates Alice. I totally missed her. Yeah, she, to put it bluntly, 
a oh. weed. <laughs> But it's so awesome and I love the fact, this is kind of creepy but still cute, that in this flower you can see the, like the bonnet little babies, their faces, the oh, little bonneted babies. Oh. Do you see it? Yeah. They yeah, have more like of them happened. over here, yeah. They kind of look like Edward, um, Edward Munch's The Scream. Oh my god. <laughs> Which just makes it that much more fabulous. But they, yeah, they have the pansies going all around and um, not as many. Oh, and here's a larger iris. Yeah. So we get our girl, our, our Miss Grouch right there. Oh, and oh, I just noticed this. Look at the faces on this. I'm not sure what flower this is, but this frond is absolutely spectacular with all these pink faces. That is amazing. But yeah, I think that is like one of, that is the crowning jewel, is the showcasing of Mary Blair's artwork. And I'm not sure if this is like a direct painting or artwork that Mary Blair did, or if it's just inspired. Uh, I, um, if anyone knows, like be sure to let us know. Um, but that's something that I wanna go dig up and see if this exact print is something that she, created or if it's just inspired by but anyway we will move on so we have a little bonus here from box lunch yep we got it with box lunch money a while back but this is our first time showing it it is a beautiful beautiful bag i it's a really cute design yeah it's really sophisticated cute. for alice so but before we do that we did get a hat <laughs> Okay, that's like a, a, a cutesy little bonus. It is a cute hat. Here, let me just come. I mean, it does have Alice and some of the flowers. Yeah. Which is really nice. So we got Alice embroidered with her big blue eyes looking up in wonder. And then we have the pansies. And I think it's interesting that they put two of the same colored pansies as blue. I mean, I'm not mad about it because I love blue. And... Then we get one red pansy. But yeah, it's just a cute hat. I love it. But you can go ahead and do the honors of wearing it. Oh, no. <laughs> because you're going to do go I ahead. Do I like a five-year-old? I feel like I always look like a good kid. I love a cap. I love when he wears caps. Like, oh. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a toddler. Except Wait, you're wearing this choker. Like what toddler is wearing this outfit? This, this must look really weird. The optics of this must be really strange. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> anyway, bag. Bag! It's a Danielle Nicole! Is this our first? Um, no, our first Danielle Nicole, y'all all saw. It was the in a Bibbidi box, or yeah, or Be Our Guest Express box. We, it's the avocado mini. Oh, it's that was a- Avocado mini, mini mouse. That was a Be Our Guest. Yeah, Be Our Guest. Mm -hmm. Because, sure. yeah, it's whichever one hat you have the, whatever. But you're gonna get a lounge fly in it. That, that's what happens. But, oh my goodness, yeah. So I'm gonna give y'all a closer look. I'm gonna pass this off to my baby here. And Okay, this is the close up view of this bag. It is gorgeous. I think it's absolutely adorable, especially because we get all of these little characters in here. First of all, the Alice is removable. So you can actually take what? her off of this loop and like put her on other parts of the bag. Oh like, my goodness, I didn't even realize that. So that's super cute. I love that touch, it's really fun. Um, but I love that we get all these little characters. We get the white rabbit. We get the little king over here, oh, the Cheshire so cat. I love the king. He's so timid. Mm -hmm. uh, Cheshire cat. We get uh, the queen of hearts. We also get these pansies and- That the, actually match the hat. That actually match the hat. Awesome. Um, and we also get the Mad Hatter, of course, which is really nice. Oh yeah. I love that we get all of these little I characters. And also the fact that it is, um, just like in the back of the Alice Limited Edition doll, it's the navigational tree that's just there <laughs> to mess you up. 
this way, up, go back, that way, yonder. Wrong way. And then the zipper pull is down. Oh, yeah. That is awesome. I love that. That's really Wait, cute you and said fun. What? It's down because it hangs. Oh, yeah. So it that can is only amazing. point down. They, Danielle Nicole went That's above really and beyond fun. with this one. And this is actually my favorite part because this is where they, the bag is just elevated a lot. The fact that they have this shimmering um, faux leather it's right like here. It's glitter. But it doesn't but it, feel. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like glitter. Yeah. It doesn't have that like It's rough, not textured. Yeah. Which it's is actually amazing. Really smooth. You're not going to get those glitter fingers. I love the fact that they did this wonderful coral color as the path, the very misleading and confusing winding path. And I love it in contrast with the matte finish of the coral and this beautiful dark shimmering blue. And then the zipper pull as well has this very deep navy and then a beautiful gold metal zipper. And then it just has that Danielle oh, Nicole yeah. lining. Mm -hmm. It's just the Danielle Nicole lining, which is fine. It's really pretty anyway, very designer. Yeah, we slept on this bag for a while, but I knew it was one that I wanted. I was just hoping that it would stay around for box lunch money, and it did. Um, we do get side pockets, and they are also yes. lined, both of them, yep. And then the back of the bag is just plain uh, with these, I love these straps. These are really soft. These are nice straps. It's a very Thick. soft leather. Definitely thicker than lounge fly straps. Yeah. These feel like they could have a little little more heft to them. Yeah. But love these. These are great. And the top handle being that mustard. Mustard! <laughs> Let's don't be silly. <laughs> but yeah, it's a very light mustard color. I can't. I can't do it. I can't. Oh my God. <gasps> okay. That was so the stressful. The struggle, the struggle. Um, okay, so yeah, just the Daniel Nicole lining. Yeah, so we don't really have to show that. Which is fine. Um, but is there an inside zipper? Oh God. An inside pocket. We Alice do is like, get what an are inside zipper doing? pocket. We do get an inside zipper pocket down okay. there. And it yeah, actually has a, a blue a blue strap on it instead of like an actual zipper. Oh, okay. Yeah, so just so the little tag is blue. Blue faux leather to match the mm -hmm. inside We get tag. the Disney Danielle Nicole on the inside. And then actually on the front side of the bag, we do get two little pockets here. Oh, so you can like which put is your nice. phone, put your iPod touch if anybody's still using oh, that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yes, so, so glad to have my Alice here finally and have her deboxed and now we can go ahead and figure out what we're gonna do. I definitely see some potential for a custom gown. I say that all the time. You really do. We, yeah, but we're working on custom dolls, so custom gowns right now may be kind of a project on the horizon. Because Rapunzel's been waiting for hers. She's been waiting for hers since January, but we're not supposed to speak about that. <laughs> Thank you everyone who watched our um, first review where we go over the box and her inside of the box and then, you know, sticking around to watch us actually debox her. Um, that's why I wanted to like just show all the details of her so that anybody who did miss out, like you can kind of gauge whether yeah. it's something that you're going to want to go for because, you know, it's never fun to be on the hunt for a Disney doll after retail. And it's definitely more costly. Mm. But either way, thank you so much for watching. And we hope that you do like the material yeah. or I, that you do like the items that we're showing. And especially like with everything that we have shown in our Alice collection for the things that have come out this year, I think they're really cohesive. And we just mm. need to figure out which bags we're gonna actually use. Because yeah. I know that we wanna, I love the Rose one, but I'm scared about taking it out in public oh and I God. love this one too. I would I would take this one out. For yeah. sure. I would take this one. Well it looks really cute with that. And the hat. I would take the Mad Hatter. Okay wait, you can have this one. I'll do the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter is a lot more my speed. Is it? Yeah. Okay. 
Well, I think you look really cute with this hat on. Maybe a different outfit, but but with this bag, that would be super cute. Thank you everyone for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out our channel a lot and lets um, YouTube know that we're worth watching. Yes. So if you find us worth watching, at least him. If you find him worth watching, please. I know I'm a pill. <laughs> <laughs> also, be sure to follow us on any of our other social media platforms that we will include below. And we will see you guys next time. Yeah, have a good night and a good day and a good year. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>